I've done uh, a bunch of Pi game tutorials in the past, and I'm hoping to do some more here in the near future. Um, and this tutorial is just more of a review, and to just show you where all we're going to do is create a basic window um, that you can close by clicking the S X or hitting Escape on the keyboard. And it's not going to do anything more than that. And this will be a base script that I can send you to so that every time I go to show you something in Pi Game, I don't have to do all the, the basic stuff from scratch. I can just send you to this video or the post in the description uh, where you can create this base script. And that's where I'll start all my Python or Pi Game scripts in the future. So we'll get started, but uh, there is a link in the description uh, that will send you to the post on this where you can actually download and see the script if you don't feel like typing it out yourself, although I recommend typing it out yourself. Or if you type it out yourself and you have issues, you can download mine and, and see if it works and see what you're doing wrong. So first off, uh, a lot of systems have Python installed, but not all of them have Pygame. Make sure you have Pygame installed or Pygame isn't going to work. Let's uh, create a script here. I'm going to use Vim as my text editor. Feel free to use whatever text editor you prefer. And we'll just call this basewin.py. We'll start it off with our shebang line saying that this is a Python script. So we got pound exclamation point forward slash sru or sorry usr forward slash bin forward slash env for environment and then space in our environment is python this is all stuff i've gone over in the past we're going to say import pygame comma sys so those are two modules we're importing then we're going to say from pygame dot locals import asterisk and that, that line there is uh, basically needed, and it shouldn't say form, it should say from. That's why color coding helps. You can spot mistakes like that pretty quick. Um, that line uh, is needed for being able to grab uh, key presses, which we are going to be grabbing key presses uh, at the very end of this. And let's set some variables for height and width. We'll say W for width, and we'll say 800, and we'll say H for height and we'll say 400. The reason I pick those numbers, you can pick whatever numbers you feel comfortable uh, for screen size, but a lot of my Pi game scripts uh, I designed for my N900 and that's the resolution of the screen on there. Uh, so next we're going to create the Pi game window. We'll just call it screen. So we're making an object called screen and that object is going to be a Pi game display. We're when we create, we're going to set the mode, and we're going to set it to the height and width that we just, or width and height, uh, that we just set. So inside a set of double parentheses there, we have our variable w and our variable h separated by a comma, and that's what we created up here. So next, let's uh, quickly do a quick update of the pie grain display, even though there isn't really anything to update, that's something I like to throw in there myself. Update, so pie game display update. And next we'll create a clock object. That clock object is going to be a pie game dot time dot clock. And we'll use that as soon as we start our main loop, which we are actually starting now. We'll say while one, so that means this is our main loop. It's going to loop forever till we exit out of the game. Uh, so now we're going to use that clock object we created, and we'll say tick, and we'll set this to 60. And what that does is it prevents the game from going than 60 frames per second. So 10, 20 years from now, when computers get a lot faster than they are now, you don't have the problem that you now have with a lot of old DOS games where... Uh, it just goes super fast and you can't play them. So it may go less than 60 frames per second, but it's not going to go faster than 60 frames per second. Now we're going to say for events. So we're starting a for loop in pygame.event.get. So this is going to be checking for any events, any inputs basically coming from the user. Uh, now we're going to check what type of inputs we're getting from the user. And we're going to say type or invent uh, event type 
equals, so if the event that's coming in equals pi game dot quit, and that's all capital. Remember, everything's case sensitive here. So basically what that is checking is checking to see if the uh, X on your window, on the window we're creating is pressed. If that is pressed, what are we gonna do? We're going to quit the application. So sys exit, sys dot exit, sorry. And then your parentheses. And then very last but not least, uh, have now uh, said, so if you hit the X on the window, you can close the window. Well, actually let's run it real quick and we'll see what we got. Let's make that script executable by using change mod plus X and the name of our script, which is base underscore win dot PY, but you can call it whatever you'd like. Now we just run it by typing dot slash and the name of art. And there's our window and we have an error already. It's a typo. I typed, I forgot the N in one of my events. So let's go back in here, find where I typed that right there. Try it again, and there's our window. 800 by 400, basic window, and if we hit the X, it closes. Now let's add two more lines, very simple here. And it's going to be an elif event.type equals, and I forgot the end there again, key down, so it's checking to see if a key is pressed. If a key is pressed, it's going to do the next thing, but before we do that, we're going to say end event dot key equals key escape. So basically, if the escape key is pressed, what are we going to do? We're going to sys dot exit. Let's save it. We don't have to make it executable again because we already made it executable. We're going to say dot slash the name of our script. There's our window. We can still hit the X here to close that. Or I can just press escape on my keyboard and the window closes. So that is how you create a base window uh, for your Pi game. And this is going to how this this is going to be the script that I start almost all my Pi game tutorials off on. So go ahead and create this and have it ready for future use. Uh, let's have a quick review. We got our shebang saying this is a Python script. We import some modules, Pygame and Sys. We get uh, locals, everything from the Pygame locals, which allows us to grab the key presses. We set some variables for our width and height. We create the window, set it to the width and height that we just set up here. We um, update that window. We create a clocked uh, uh, object we start our main loop and we say that clock object basically prevents us from looping more than 60 frames per second and we may change that depending on what game we're creating then we check for user input whether the x is pressed or we press the escape key and either of those we exit the window i thank you for watching once again check the links in the description the first one will have a link to this post where you can download this script and just have it ready if you're going to watch the rest of my uh, Pi game tutorials in the future. I thank you for watching, and please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And I hope that you have a great day.